Hey, nothing much. Just returning after dinner in a restaurant. These meals cost so much. Besides, I don't think they're even healthy. Have you tried cooking in your hall? Yes, even when I try to cook in my hall, I mostly end up making too much and then throwing it away. What about hall when cooking videos and articles? I've tried several times but always fail. Some recipes are time consuming, others require professional equipment, which are impractical for students. I was stationed in the exact same problems as you, but then I tried Blue Plate. They post easy to follow, quick, cheap, and low waste meal plans on social media, so you're environmentally conscious and meat filling meals. Plans are both vegetarian and non vegetarian and use the same ingredients for the whole week, so you won't struggle to purchase too many kinds of ingredients. Wow, that sounds amazing. I'll definitely go check out the new plans. Hi, guys. Hello, this is Wendis. I get to know blue plate project from my friend. My friend's friend is a culture of me. I found a recipe for cooking egg spinach soup of Mr. Burn for blue plate. There's a few of them on the main flour and tomato or the water. Blue plate. Well, it tastes so good. Now you know what blue plates stand for. But what about us, the team? Who are we? We started off with a small team of six people. But now we have five small teams which work together to bring the data to you. The nutritional and curating team collate the recipes. The design team makes them look stunning and writes the content. The marketing team posts and promotes them. And we, the spokesperson team, make sure that everyone's work is brought to you. We currently have working Facebook and Vivo and have received a positive response over the past two weeks. Two meal plans, one vegetarian and one non-vegetarian, have been posted. We intend to promote local vendors through our plans by suggesting students to purchase ingredients from the main markets as they are cheaper. Through our market research, we have estimated costs for the initiatives. Though our current meal plans have been free, going forward, we intend to provide monetized meal plans to the students. We also wish to switch from curating pictures and recipes to formulating our own. Our business model focuses on the commission derived after paying the nutritionist and is estimated at $10 to $15 per meal plan. Apart from promoting local vendors, we also wish to inculcate healthy, low-waste, low-cost eating habits while ensuring dietary diversity through our meal plans as we scale up. So we initially intend to cater to only Hong Kong U students. Gradually, we want to move on to students from other universities too. Apart from promoting local, uh, our initiative is also low budget and promote responsible consumption and production. Though so imperfect, Blue Plate has strong initiatives for students and local vendors. The major concern is whether students will be willing to pay for our meal plans. A survey done by us shows that the majority of students are interested in paying between $30 to $70 for our meal plans. Overall, we think that a unique initiative like Blue Plate, catering to students' needs of healthy, cheap, and the lowest meals, has great potential in promoting sustainability in the field of food. Let's work together to make Blue Plate really great. Thanks a lot. And what still needs to be done in the next steps to take forward? Uh, and, and where do you still need investment in for that? Uh, we are currently just having uh, the social media platforms working, and we are posting daily new plans uh, suggested by the curating team. And My name is Simba. Could you explain more about the business model? 
how you will finance or make this sustainable to, to provide a neutral plans in the long run? Uh, so our business model essentially relies on um, the cost that we will be taking in from our patients and the cost we will be giving uh, to the nutritionist. The difference between that will be what our profit will be. How much are people willing to pay per week? Um, so as we illustrated to our surveys, it's um, mostly between 13 to 15 dollars just for the meal plan. Inclusive of the ingredients, it will cost between 100 to uh, 110 to 150 Hong Kong dollars. Does, does it work equally well with just the meal plan and with the ingredients as well? Is it double business? So currently we just tried it uh, free, like a free trial for two weeks uh, for our patrons um, online. Uh, but going forward, we uh, wish to give two options to the patrons. One is just of the meal plan and second is of the meal plan along with the ingredients. So we're also looking at collaborating with um, initiatives like Welcome or Boxful, which will um, like from where we can purchase the ingredients in bulk. So that way, uh, the uh, students get the ingredients and they also get the meal plan. I actually think it's a fantastic idea. Um, I would recommend thinking about just the meal plan to start off with. Uh, all the startups uh, uh, that try to do the second thing that you're um, suggesting um, have had a very long um, and difficult startup, and it's a very difficult business to survive in but the idea that uh, of giving students who don't really know about these things some authoritative and adventurous eating plans that would demonstrably reduce their food budget but increase their health and nutrition um, well giving them the power empowering them to sort it out themselves I think is a no-brainer I'm pretty sure it could work I'm just wondering if you could elaborate a bit on how this relates to resilience. I, I, it's just not exactly clear to me, at least in my understanding of resilience. So maybe what is your definition of resilience and how does this relate to it? So for us, uh, we had to look at resilience and sustainability in food through our initiative as our brief for um, this assignment. And hence, uh, we have looked at meal plans which um, are low waste, use the same ingredients throughout the week, are much cheaper than um, the uh, meals that the students are eating currently, and also uh, wish to promote more healthier eating. So that way, we think that we're promoting sustainability and also providing the students with um, resilience in terms of their eating habits. Definition of resilience? So for us, uh, resilience here uh, particularly refers to um, the capacity to recover from expenses uh, relating to food. So many a time students end up spending a bit too much on food um, and it's difficult for them to budget it, uh, budget it well. So through our initiative, we can uh, wish to promote resilience in uh, that manner. A question that I have is, can you describe the low waste aspect? Is that simply, my understanding of it is, is that, you know, the students are provided with a meal plan that's signed off by a nutritionist, but then it's really up to the student to go out and acquire the ingredients. Is that right? And so how do you guarantee low waste associated with that? So um, as mentioned in our presentation, I'll, I'll just quickly answer it in 10 seconds. As mentioned in our presentation, the students will be using the same ingredients throughout the week. So um, when they're using the same ingredients throughout the week, they will be given um, a specific amount to purchase. And they will not be purchasing beyond that or using beyond that. So that way, the waste of uh, the food waste is also minimized. <laughs> 